police are trying to figure out who is stealing election signs in a local community. The thief is taking signs for a school board race in Bethel Park. Amy Wattis is live tonight to explain why police got involved. Amy. That's right, and this is the sign police say that someone is stealing from properties all around Bethel Park. Now, the election for the school board is May 21st, and police say that it's just the incumbent signs that are being stolen. So one school board member took matters into his own hands. He's running for re-election. He put this sign on his property as a warning. I feel like somebody's trying to steal the election by stealing our signs. Jim Means is on the Bethel Park School Board. He is one of the four current school board members running for re-election. So when he found out two signs were stolen from his property, he wasn't too happy. Those signs are very expensive. We paid $800 for 250 signs. And because of that, we've had to order 100 more. Police say hundreds of dollars worth of signs have been stolen from residents' properties all around the township. If the price jumps to $2,000, the police chief says that's considered a felony. Only one list of candidate signs is being stolen. The other one's not targeted. So it looks like it's an attempt from somebody to influence the election. Chief O'Connor believes the thefts are happening at night. Beyond the monetary loss, it's the... Uh, the fact that there's somebody out there trespassing on, on people's property. But what's bothering the chief the most? We have Memorial Day coming up, and this is my point, is we've had our brave servicemen die to, prevent, to you know, preserve our rights as Americans, including the right to vote. And whoever's doing this, I find that despicable, and we're going to put them in jail. Chief O'Connor couldn't comment on whether or not they're reviewing surveillance video or if they have any leads. He is asking, however, if the public seen or heard anything to contact the police department. We're live in Bethel Park. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.